Pumpkin, you're really fat and you're on top of me. Please stop, thank you. Hi, everyone. Oh, ow! I'm going to be spilling your secrets while I train Amara, aka Red Heart. I really should ride my Connemaras more. I have two of them. I also bought these leg wraps and these glasses at the traveling market. The leg wraps were 149 star coins. I don't even know what to do with myself. They're one of the only leg wraps that are really white. Let's get started with the secrets this time around because it's anonymous. They were a little crazier, so buckle your seat belts. <laughs> I glitched into Epona and bought Oh! I glitched into Epona and bought horses at level 14. Ooh. Me and my best friend dress up in all black and spy on people around Jorvik. LOL. I'll look for you. I feel like I'm the only one who doesn't think Yidris is hot and Loki thinks he looks a little like a rat. Okay, you're not the only one. I do not like Yidris. This might be an unpopular opinion, but I honestly don't even know why the circus exists in this horse game. I'm not a fan of the circus. Okay, I used to get chat bans on purpose by saying naughty words. Why would anyone want to be chat banned? Sometimes when I'm bored, I do some weird rituals around people. Where, where am I going? Uh, why why is there an earthquake what update is this that is one of the arabians with the tack that it comes with i think it's nice that they're at a discounted seriously what is going on i think it's nice that they're at a discounted price i have none of the new arabians i just could not see myself spending 900 something star coins on a breed that i didn't i didn't really like how sso made them I think it's nice that they're making some 750 because I think I think that's a price point that I can see them being worth. And another thing is that they come with a tax set, which is really cool because that's that's a really good deal. Oh, what the? My character is wearing glasses like basically as big as her head, and she still can't raise. <laughs> <coughs> <coughs> that was so disgusting. Me and my friend used to secretly ignore all starters we found. I know it's mean, but... Hi. What did the starters ever do to you? What, what did the starters ever do? Hold on, guys. This is going to be a long one. When I was 10 and started playing SSO, I got in a quote-unquote relationship with a supposedly 17-year-old guy and we'd roleplay doing the dirty in the Fort Pinta Tower. I'm so ashamed of myself those years ago. Oh my gosh. Where were your parents? That is horrible. That is actually horrible. Everybody just needs to be careful on the internet. There are a lot of these kinds of peoples. Pe peoples? I'm kind of sorry that happened because you you didn't know better and just be, be safe online everyone and if you're 10 years old or you know just a young kid and you don't understand any of this I started SSO in 2012 my grandmother started paying for my monthly star rider accounts I think she forgot about it because I'm still a star rider that is a long time to be paying for monthly Star Rider. Oh my goodness. I've glitched a couple of times into Ashland on my sister's account and she got suspended. I would feel so bad <laughs> if, that, if I did that and banned Lydia's account. Oh my, oh my gosh, I would never hear the end of it. I say that I'm going to train for people, but I only say that so I can go on other people's accounts when I'm bored. Do people actually give you their account information? It's good that you're not doing bad things to their account, hopefully, but it's it's weird that people are so trusting with their account information. I saved my parents' credit card info, so I buy star coins whenever and no one will know. Trust me, someone will know. 
When I was younger, I would join romance roles in Star Stable, and I was, well, brought to the forest. I was seven. Got to find out how babies are made someday. What is with these small children and doing romance roles? That is just so sad. Like, you're... By childhood. I secretly don't like being in my friend's club and want to leave. What do I do? I would tell your friend that the club isn't the right fit for you or find a club that you really enjoy and maybe ask your friend if she wants to join too. I would do what you want on Star Stable. In the end, it's just a horse game. Try to be as nice as possible about it. I glitched myself into Epona on my best friend's account. I bought her an Icelandic without her being able to enter Epona. 75% of the money I make goes towards star coins. I'm almost an adult. Should I be concerned? Uh, uh, yeah, a little bit. I tried to avoid my old club members if I left the club and didn't tell them slash owner anything. I said to a girl in Moorland who was non-star rider that she could have spirit. And I got off of spirit, she went over to get on him, but it didn't work, and I just laughed. Wow, those poor noobs. I have a crush on Thomas Moreland. He is bae. Thomas Moreland is an amazing dude. He owns a very important place called Moreland. I'd never have really looked at these horses. Okay, stop. I need- oh my gosh. No horse shopping. This is called training time, not horse buying time. I bought three months Star Rider using my mom's credit card, and when she found out, I wasn't allowed SSO for three months. Someone's parents are doing something right. I mean, at least you learn something from it, hopefully. When I need money, I'll sell a few horses, then claim that I was hacked, and I'll email Star Stable, and then give me them back for free. Oh. I bought 500 plus star- oh my- cool, that was- that was a great shortcut, okay. I- oh- I bought 500 plus of star coins for my parents' credit card. I don't regret it lol, but kids, don't do it. Yeah, don't do that. I'm a terrible club owner and have no idea what I'm doing. My club is- about mainly dressage and i don't even know how to do it you don't really need to know how to do it usually dressage clubs on here it's more like drill team i used to think that joining clubs meant you were popular i really want to change clubs but i don't want to make the owner mad we're good friends irl and have met before that is a sticky situation when I was younger, I bought monthly Star Rider and my mom thought it was a one-time payment, so there's little 10-year-old me whilst my mom thinks she is being robbed, LMAO. I like to take pictures with Justin Moreland, but when I take pictures with him, I make my character hold his hand and kiss him. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Loretta is probably steaming right now. I spy on my old club sometimes. When I want star coins, I just ask my dad and say I have money or I will pay him back or do chores around the house, but I've never done any of them. I pretend to have to go hang out with my quote-unquote annoying friend when I don't want to be with my friends. One time I told my club I was sick, so I logged off, but I actually logged off to switch to different server so I could play with my friend. I was the reason four club members got kicked out. Ooh. When I started playing SSO, I was like 10, I memorized my dad's credit card number and spent over $300 on star coins. I bet you got in huge trouble for that? I hate the last club I was in, but so- Oh my gosh. Okay, the fact that we got through that race is actually a miracle. I spy with my little eye. My club and I join random shows while listening to Vines. Sham Wow is my show horse and he will always win. You know, that sounds like fun. Okay, this is weird, but sometimes I skip club events to play Minecraft instead. 
And my excuse is that I have a school project to do. Don't tell my club. Minecraft is really fun. And sometimes you get bored of SSO, so I would, I would not feel bad about that. When I was level 12, I really wanted an Icelandic course, so I did a bug and bought two. Sometimes me and my best friend go rear behind random people's horses and yell, No child support! Then run away, especially to our club owner. I once glitched into New Hillcrest to buy an Icelandic and got banned. You got banned. But then the other girl who I just read apparently didn't get banned. Like nothing. Ah, what? This was a long time ago. When I was still a noob on SSO, I had this friend and we often rolled. We pretended that our horses loved each other and we gave them a wedding by the lighthouse. Then we wanted them to have a foal, but I wasn't Star Rider. She was, though, since there are no fools in the game. She bought a pony from Fort Pinta, and we pretended it was a foal. I haven't heard from her since, though, but I've switched servers a ton. Wow, okay, so she stole your horse's kid and ran. Oh my gosh. Sometimes I secretly want to murder all my horses and my keyboard because neither of them know how to function. I was in the club of a friend, but it was really unactive. I wanted to leave the club, but I didn't want to be mean. So I leave the club and told her it was my brother who pressed the leave button. That's a good excuse. I've actually never really had a sibling hack me. I don't know. I feel like it would, it would happen at some point because of how many siblings I have, but nobody's ever gotten on my star stable account and, you know screwed around or anything you know that girl at stable bucks cafe that say hi when you come near her i always stop and say hi back so that she don't feel alone Ah, you're a nice person when my horse doesn't jump i jump in water and quote unquote drown it or leave it where it is and walk really far away till i have to call for pickup because i'm so far away I'm calling horse abuse line, helpline. I will sometimes dress up like a noob and pretend to not know anything. I bought three Jorvik wild horses, then sold them. Then I bought two, then sold them. Then I bought one and I sold it. Whoops, I almost sold my Jorvik wild horses, not the big ones but the small ones i have a red one the blue one and the pink one i'm not it's not pink it's it's like violet colored i really wanted to sell the blue one and the red one because i never ride them but i i just haven't i sold my old model Jorvik pony so i could buy a saddle for realistic roleplay it was also pretty ugly lol i also used a club hop I would join a club and then leave so I could see the different ways people welcomed you and then leave. Sometimes I join in global drama and make fun of people. I don't now, but I used to and I'm not proud of it. I know it's wrong. I once logged into my old SSO friends account and sold all her other color horses instead of her black horses and she didn't care, to be honest. That's kind of interesting. Me and my friend are making an entire family for Ed Fields. Heart. Oh my gosh, that's actually really cute. Because, you know, he is really lonely at the end by the bridge. He's just, he's just on his own. My favorite thing to do on SSO is crash club events. I stand in people and follow them around. I used my grandma's credit card to buy star coins and then asked my mom to buy me some 10 minutes later, and it worked. That's when I was richest in SSO. Oh my gosh. You guys and your star coins. What? I sometimes do the glitch where you can see other people in your home stable and spy on them. Okay, that is kind of creepy. <laughs> Like, what if, what if you're just, like, hanging out in your home stable in peace, and there, you just know, like, there's just someone watching you all the time? That would be so weird. My pony once fell behind the Wolf Hall Inn, and it was too fat to get out. Oh my gosh. 
I actually hate my club owner because she's bossy, but I don't want to leave because I like annoying her. I'm so bad, I know. I'm surprised you haven't gotten kicked out for annoying her. Mm, maybe she likes maybe she likes you annoying her. I don't know. I used to dress my character as a pirate and pretend that Captain Bruce was my father. I thought someone has stolen all of my expensive tack, so I started crying and my dad emailed SSO HQ and they got back to me three days later. I soon found out I had put it on another horse and forgot about it. That has happened to me where I lose stuff. I've never emailed HQ. I don't know what they would do about it, to be honest. I secretly hate my SSO name and wish I could change it. That's a lot of people in this game. I wish you could change your name. It, it would be nice because I know there's a lot of people who do regret their first name choice. I once owned a really big club and disbanded it for no reason. I'm using a girl for fame. I once bought 20,000 star coins and wasted them all on horses. Got rid of them all the same day. I regret it. That's a lot of wasted star coins. <laughs> I have bought the same horse four times on accident. How do you do it four times on accident? I don't, I don't understand. Derek the postman is hot. Mm -mm -mm. When I ask my mom for star coins, she says only a thousand, then I get five thousand. Honestly, I don't think these parents of SSO players know what is going on with their children. I always create drama on my server and once got someone banned for something I did. Ooh. Sometimes I look up scam starcoin hacks slash giveaway vids asking for emails and passwords, search through the comments, and log in with the details given in them. I don't sell or ruin anything, I just silently watch. Who puts their information in the comments of those videos? You guys, don't do that. That is so bad. I get asked a lot to train others' horses, so I go on their account, finish training one horse, and then never log in ever again. Once I created an alt account and made it into my club where I proceeded to praise the life out of my main account, pretending to be my biggest, most tenacious fan, astonishing my- What is this log? Astonishing my fellow members, then put up a huge fight, left the club, abandoned the account, and never talked about it ever again. That's an interesting story. I used to buy horses and then pretend- Wait, what? What the heck? I used to buy horses and then like pretend to kill them in SSO and then sell them and then buy the exact same horse pretending I resurrected it. You trying to play God here? I used all of my friend's star coins that she had been saving for weeks, then said it wasn't me. Now I feel really guilty. I would feel guilty too. Your poor friend. Once on SSO, my club asked me to spy on someone because they were enemies, and we ended up being really good friends. You know, if you don't know someone, you don't know their true story, okay? So I need to stop having some kind of motivational speech. But just because your club says they're the enemy, doesn't mean they're actually the enemy. I logged on my friend's account and made her wear a noob outfit, hid all horses in the pasture, and logged out in some weird place. When she logged on another day, she thought she was hacked. She still has no clue. Oh my gosh. I once deleted all my friends, left my club, and moved to another server without telling anyone. Gotta love 3AM freakouts. I pretend to be a YouTuber while playing SSO, LMAO. If you do that, you should make a YouTube channel because, I don't know, it would be really fun. <coughs> Ew. I jump off cliffs with my horses when my club and I go trail riding, and I keep jumping off cliffs until they're dead. Oh. I ship Alex and Anne really hard. If a club outfit is too expensive, I just wait till the owner logs off and then I leave the club. 
In 2017, I used my sister's credit card without her knowing to buy star coins worth over a hundred dollars. Oh my god. She noticed the money missing from the bank and she had to call the bank, then do a lot of paperwork to try to get the money back. She still has no idea it was me. All of you little scam artists, what is wrong with you? If Lydia did that to me, I would, oh, I would freak out too. Sometimes I like to quote unquote lose my horse, place it in random places like the statue in Fort Pinta, and then pretend I don't know how to get it down again. It's quite entertaining to watch people looking and giving ideas to get it down. I used to be in the one time a girl got yelled at for not coming to the dressage practice in the morning on a school day. I don't understand that. I actually had a time where I was married to my starter horse. Aww. One time I was like riding and I accidentally slipped a big one, which resulted in my horse spooking then running into the wall. Um. I'm assuming you mean real life. I mean, no judgment. You know, that can happen sometimes. I do the 24-hour challenge once a week on SSO. How do you do that? Um, I have accidentally because of a glitch, not my fault, got 200 star coins on a Saturday and ended up with 10,000 shillings. Okay, I don't... What? I once wrote loads of dirty words in the global chat just so the game master who were online could ban me from the chat. I purposely <laughs> what the heck? blew up my horse with dynamite three times during a quest. I get triggered because I don't have Star Rider, then I don't play for weeks, and I feel like I want to burn more land down. Oh. That is aggressive. I accidentally unfriended a friend, thought I was on the ignore list, and blamed it on my cat. Okay, I did that once too. I didn't blame it on my cat. That's a good excuse, you know. I really should have because, you know, my cats will jump on my keyboard. I mean, great excuse. My club once listened to Shakira and we danced to an SSO and at least 20 people not in the club joined us. I bet it was hips don't lie. Once I was glitching in a wall and found a star. Okay, that's honestly weird that you were glitching, but then found a star that SSO hid. I, okay, that's interesting. Can I eat Lola? Um, that's not a secret, and no. I like to go behind random players and rear so it looks like our horses are mating. Oh. Fun. All my friends love dressage, so I pretend that I do too. Why do you have to pretend? You know, you can be different from what your friends like. I mean, I do actually agree with you. I do think dressage is boring. It's everyone's different opinion though. Some people love dressage and think it's amazing. I have a crush on my club owner's boyfriend. Oh. I glitched into Golden Hills Valley before I unlocked it, and I- Are you serious? <laughs> and I was so scared, so I hide in bushes. I mean, I would be scared too. I like to watch people do races and watch them fail at jumps. Okay, you'd really like watching me then because in this entire video, I've probably failed 50 jumps. I love training, but none of my friends do, so I pretend I don't like it. Oh, what's wrong with liking training? I mean, I don't like training, but you can like it. Oh, frick. I- Sometimes when I'm on SSO and none of my friends are on, I whip and dab like Wiz Khalifa. You know, I can just imagine that. I used to pretend to be a boy for a year on SSO because everyone else thought I was. Oh, I kind of hated SSO at first. Not everyone likes a horse game. I secretly lied about my age to join a club, by the way, love you lots. I used to tell people that I was an SSO designer and ask them questions, like what horses they wanted to see in game. I'm on a lot of ignore lists. 
Oh my gosh. Would anyone believe you? <laughs> I don't think anyone would believe you. I secretly hate my club because the owners pick and choose favorites, yet the owners say they don't. Load of bull for such a big club on- I once thought, when I was a noob, that I could ride other people's horses, so I tried to steal a girl's horse. I made a fool of myself. Aww, I mean, it's okay, though. You didn't know you were just a noob. It's, it's fine. I secretly hate pretty much everyone in my club, but I'm too scared to tell them that I may leave the club because they're extra AF. No, don't leave. We need you. Ah. If you really don't like the club, why are you in it? Star Stable is secretly sexist towards males. They'll add death, but yet they'll add death, but yet there's still no male characters. The game is literally stated for everyone. I want male characters as well, but I I don't know what death has to do with male characters. Those are kind of those are kind of separate topics everyone is still technically allowed to play i do wish oh yay i should go to the top of the observatory i'm not training anymore i got level nine i am done <laughs> i'm done i've been told like 50 times in the comments whenever i say oh i want there to be male characters i've been told oh there can't be male characters because it's a sisterhood so it has to all be female how has james charles who is a male himself created an entire sister squad as a boy as a male but sso can't have male characters participate as as sisters quote unquote you know sisters as part of the sisterhood i mean it's 2019 boys are being called sisters now if you guys have an opinion on the male characters shebang you know have something to say on it i would really like to hear it because you know i like i like hearing your opinions on it those are all of the secrets i will be reading i'm sorry if i couldn't read your secret there were a lot of secrets to read i did a pretty good job i did almost all the races these ones are not worth it for me bye <laughs> i hope you enjoyed this video thank you so much for watching bye